Hey, uh, Chris Badney here from Detroit. The good people at Focus Sound sent me their brand new Thunder Harp Classic Harmonica. They asked to know what I think about it. I'm opening up the box. Uh, hard plastic case. There it is. Doily. Red interior. Now the first thing I want to do when I get a brand new harmonica in my hand is I want to see if it's in tune with itself. A lot of those inexpensive harps are not. Okay, we're there. Okay, let me tell you, it doesn't take a whole lot of air, which is nice. This is pretty airtight. It's closed. Um, and there's a note. It's very nice. It's got some cool action, man. This is some blues. I like it, man. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. Now, there's some science involved in uh, reeds. You know, there's a specific length, the width, the thickness, the material itself. There's a... Uh, you got to spend some money to make a good harmonica. You got to know what you're doing. You got to spend money. And man, this thing is, how much they say? It's under 20 bucks. I want the whole set, man. Because it got the honk. Got some nice resonance happening, man. Part of the part of the science, the plastic part's called the comb, you know, and it's got the holes in it, and it's, that's where the reed plates is attached to the comb. Now the comb, it's a fiber, it's a plastic fiber, so it's not going to warp like the blues harps, which which the the Honer blues harp set the standard. And right now, this is either equal or to or exceeds the standard. You know, it doesn't take a lot of wind. It's got the action to bend the notes, and I like that the the cover plates. It's it, it feels like some kind of steel. It's holding its own shape. I can you know I can kind of squeeze it and stuff. And there's the resonance is when I'm playing a note. Oops. Part of the sound is, sure, it's coming through the holes in the bottom, but the whole plate's vibrating, man, and it feels good on your hands. When the plates are too thick, you get this ringing tone, which some people prefer and I do not. And if the plate's too thin, it can buzz. And this is pretty tight. It's pretty clean. There's no buzz. There's no ring. Let's uh, put some air into it. Let's see if we can cause some damage to it, okay? Okay, so I'm, I'm blowing like crazy in here. 
you know, just to bend the notes. I, I'm uh, manipulating the air. I'm twisting my tongue. I'm pushing the air through the side of the, the reed inside, and it's bending the reed, and the note's going down. And I'm doing it very easily. It's very easy, man. This is a sweet harmonica. <laughs> At, you know, uh, it's more than half the price of the industry standard professional blues harp, Lee Oscar, Seidel. I like this. This is going to be huge. Thunder Classic. My focus sound. Well, focus sound, man. <laughs> you guys got some good stuff, man. Can I get the whole set? This is the key of C. I need the rest of it. But for now, I'm going to play the hell out of it. It's worth whatever the, whatever you're charging. It's worth it. This is a great harmonica. Thank you. And it's still in tune. I blew the hell out of it, man. I... <laughs> Some harmonicas fall apart after that. So, Chris Badney from Detroit. I give it two thumbs up. Buy this harmonica. Thunder harp. Thunder. Thunder Classic by Focus Sound. Buy it. Play it. Love it. <laughs> Thank you.